Rowers of all ages and affiliations came out to compete during the Oklahoma Regatta Festival on the Oklahoma River this weekend, including a team whose members are blind and visually impaired. News 9's Deanne Stein shows us that while being visually impaired may have its challenges, on the water, it may very well be an advantage. We listen. Totally listen. All right, up an inch. You can feel the boat. You want to just place it down and then roll it in slings? We're used to feeling everything. And let it down. This is how the Vipers operate. Because each member of this unique rowing team is visually impaired. They're going to turn to the left. The team is part of the visually impaired adaptive rowing project and trained here in Oklahoma City. Okay, you guys swing to the right. Some coaches train their rowers by telling them to just close their eyes and to just feel the water. But for the Vipers, that's more than just a training exercise. That's life. There we go. Your senses are heightened. The uh, you, we feel everything. You, you almost got kind of a radar. You, you just feel your surroundings. We're almost at an advantage because. We have to rely on the fill of the boat and, and, ever, and the sound to be able to know what we're doing. One and three row. Keeping the distractions of sight at bay. We actually have a real smooth boat because we're not looking. Don't paddle until they blow the horn. But as each team crosses that finish line, it's clear what they've accomplished. This time... Make sure you get some water. The 4,500 meter. It definitely is something that you can bring sighted and visually impaired together. In Oklahoma City, Deanne Stein. This is one. News 9. The Vipers play second today out of three teams in 18 minutes even. For more information on this and other programs for the visually impaired, just go to news9.com slash links.